Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. It's a... well, Shell, you actually have seen more of this game than I have. They had it at the mix at PAX a year ago, but I didn't take a look at it because I knew I was going to play it anyway, so it didn't seem really important to me to, like, check it out beforehand, because uh, I like to go into things fresh, but it's one part, like, action brawler slash, like, side-scroller beat-em-up kind of thing, and one part farming sim. And that's cool. I haven't seen a whole lot of games that combine those two together, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. I know there's voice acting, but I don't know if, what the voice acting is. The artwork looked really colorful and cute. So yeah. I'll have to see what's gonna go on. Wait, is this? It's like did a someone, memory. It's like a die? baby. It's the family. I really was expecting to hear somebody talk, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the family. Yeah. Oh, by what means do you ascend to this place? Hear me, uninvited guests. If you cross that bridge, your pathway home shall be forever forfeit. Turn back! <clears throat> uh, you do realize I am speaking, yes? Yonder lies the lofty realm. The realm of the gods. It is no place for humans. I... But what part of turn back eludes you? Ha! I finally found you. Okay, wait, so now the dialogue is no longer auto-going. Wait, so they're crossing a bridge that somehow leads to the Haven of the Gods? I guess so. How do they manage to find it in the first place? I love this style they used for the men. Like, all the other characters are kind of generic, but, like, the dudes have some they're stylization really exaggerated. going on. Yeah. Their faces. I, I wish they did that with every character, because the, the mother, I'm assuming, is pretty, like, just generic, pretty woman. The kids are fairly generic, like, chibi kids. But the dude, like, the dad is just, like... Hulking, and he has the large nose. Yeah, and exactly. Crazy hair, and then this guy is just all chin. Yeah, massive amount of chin, and, like... Nose that goes into the shadow of his yeah, hat or his so visor. Good. Yeah. I had no clue such a grand bridge was on this mountain. It's time to pay up. You won't get away from me this time, Katsura. Ishimaru, why have you chased us this far? A dunce like you probably wouldn't understand, but we're at our wit's end, too. I can't let those kids go. And you, traitor, you need to die. Then I shall steal myself, if I must. Could you look any more pathetic? I can't believe you're a samurai. Whatever. Just die. What? Princess, what are you doing in a place like this? I will not allow this! Return at once, princess! The hell? What's going on? Whoa! Hmm? Oh, please, do carry on. You needn't let me interrupt you. Still, how fascinating. Are you humans? You are, aren't you? To cross swords immediately upon entering the lofty realm. What a barbaric display. Go on, then. Get on with it. A day of tribute is such a bore. All there is to do is drink until my turn comes around. But today, my little jaunt has been rewarded with a most unexpected encounter. <laughs> okay, one minute here. I already dislike her. I hope that this is a story where she has to redeem herself by helping the humans. I thought we were going to play as the daughter. No, no, it, no, it looks like... Her. But she's she's relishing in the fact that well, these... she's super drunk. Oh, yeah, that's why she's unsteady. Is it because what is she the princess of rice? I, thought, I guess I thought so. Anari oh, yeah, her name is Sakuna, so I guess so. But I mean, maybe she's had too much sake, but oh, we should go get sake. <laughs> oh, sake, uh, my princess. You mustn't associate with such... Uh, there's no need to fret. I'll return soon. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Quite the luxurious getup. 
Ooh, you're most perceptive for a ruffian. Splendid, isn't it? The peak of elegance. It demonstrates my status magnificently, don't you think? Ugh! Oh, you reek of sake! I thought you were a kid! <laughs> How dare you! I am a hale and hearty adult! <laughs> ah! The sting of that horrible comment sobered me right up. I suppose I'll return to the banquet and reacquaint myself with the joy of intoxication. Children of men, ahead lies the domain of the gods. Turn back before the bridge vanishes. If you don't, your safety cannot be guaranteed. Or so they say. <laughs> that child has incredible strength. She mentioned a banquet. If we follow her, we might find something to eat. Oh no. She just told them to turn back. Well. He has sheer Flip capital. side. If I was going to starve to death, or I could risk it by going here, I'd probably just take a risk at this point. Look at all these spirits. I love the weird giant mole men. <laughs> And are those supposed to be whale people, or...? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what half these and those things people are. Have, They're fun to look they at, They have though. gourds for heads. Oh, are, is that another god? <laughs> yeah. I can make my tribute every year using only the rice they have on hand at home. How splendid it is to be a high-ranking noble. Is that so? I myself must put forth every effort. I hope that Lady Kamuhitsuki will acknowledge me this year. Too bad, so sad. You can't change the rank you're born into. Ah, I know. My dear friend Kokoroa, I'll bestow upon you the honor of helping me. The more you appear before Lady Kamuhitsuki, the more likely she'll be to remember you. <laughs> right. Then, if you would be so kind... Lady Korakawa. My princess, <laughs> please wow, desist kind of close. from this japery. You must fulfill your own vital duty. When you return to your seat, you must not lose yourself in drink again. This again? You're so bothersome, Tama. I find it hilarious that when the screen moves, the dialogue box moves, and the tiny little thing that's supposed to show what direction the character yeah. is from was flipping back and forth. <laughs> but also, what is he? Is he one of those kind of lion dogs? Yeah, with a, maybe. A little, I don't know what that horn is on his head, or if it's an offering, or, or what, but... Also, is that girl lion. supposed to represent... Time? Time, yeah. Maybe. She has all these gears. She definitely looks more impressive with the giant gears behind her. Also, that's just... Oh, look at that. They have some miso soup and rice. Don't make and me want this. Japanese food. I know, you order it all the time. Being drunk has no bearing on my ability to fulfill my duty. It's child's play for... Huh? Oh, yep, there they are. Uh-oh. Now where do you think you're going? I'm not finished speaking with... Sorry, Tama. I was wrong. I'll sober up and get to work. I'll be right back. Oh, my princess. So you finally learned to heed my words. Hey, you humans! Ugh, this is not good. This is not good. Never mind my duty. I'm going to be in hot water if the children of men wander in here. I must catch them, and quickly. Oh, actually, I don't know. This sounds now. like gameplay. Okay. Uh, I won't let you escape. Hold still. Because as I recall, isn't this a in part sort of a side-scrolling fighter? Yeah. You beat him up. That's what I thought. So now you have to catch them. Ah! Ah! What do you think you're doing? This jar is outrageously expensive. What is going on? I What are those colors? No. Know. Was that part of the Did you tutorial? guys see that? Okay, they saw that. 
What's up with those? Yeah. Don't okay. you underestimate me, fool. I am a god. I... Oh, so you can use this, the tassels or the... Okay. Yeah, use that to grapple Ravens. things. Yeah. Okay. Wah! Oh. So you're swinging around, not quite like Spider-Man, but... Oh yeah, well. it's, it's a little bit more direct. But I have the... There was okay. a grip walls and ceilings. Because there was something up above that you could have... Oh, no, you got it. Yeah, I just had to get the right shot. Ooh. Wait, they activated hey, a golem? You aren't supposed to run into me! Oh. Ta, ta, ta. Ta. Well. Let's see, what else Did do I have? Did she use a hammer? Ta. Was it like one of those mochi hammers? Yeah, yeah. No, I. Uh, it's a hoe. Oh, it yeah, is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we've got yeah. probably a pair of sights, yeah. and uh, yeah. and yeah, just like a giant hoe. That makes yeah. sense for gathering rice. Okay. You're Definitely right don't like the uh, the voice acting being this high for battle. Oh, Corolla, mm -hmm. you and your puppets. When I return, you are getting an earful. Maybe there's a way to turn off battle. I can turn on. No, there's no way to turn off battle voices. It's all or nothing. So. Um, I just. But the problem is, the voice acting is cute. It's, it's good. It's just battle voices is awful, and I don't want to hear like. Ah, blah, 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 every single time I attack. <sighs> This is the Divine Garner! Do they mean to eat my offering of rice for Lady Kamahitsuki? I absolutely won't allow it! They're just eating dried rice without it even being You've cooked. done it now! I shall etch a painful reminder of your hubris upon your lowly human souls! No, wait. The alcohol and oil in here could swiftly embroil the whole place in flames. Yep. Well, there goes all the rice. What was that loud noise? I smell something fragrant. Princess Sakuna. Yes? You have been blessed with favor as the daughter of the great warrior god Takaribi. Yet even so, you have obliterated the Divine Garner, along with the offerings I was to receive. <sighs> Alas, what have you done? I... I... Uh, oh, please forgive me! It was all their fault! <laughs> A god mustn't blame their crimes on humans. <laughs> now then, children of men, identify yourselves. I am Katsura Uemon no Jo Takamori. The people call me Taoemon. I'm Kinta. Who are you? The head honcho or something? I'm Yui. I don't like it here. Please send us back home. I'm Mirte, and this is... Ah! Kaimuru! We gods and you humans are of two realms. That is to say, the natural order divides us betwixt the lofty realm and the lowly realm. Nevertheless, the floating bridge of heaven which you crossed has already disappeared. Even I, the preeminent goddess Kamohitsuki, do not know when it will next appear. Therefore, until it does, you are to help Princess Sakuna rectify the disorder left in the wake of your bedlam. Rectify... meaning... Princess Sakuna, do you recall the Isle of Demons? 
It is the outlying island where your parents met and defeated the evil god Omizuchi. That tumultuous land has long been a nest of demons and has yet to fall under my control. You are to investigate the origin of the ceaseless horde of demons as you expunge them from the island. But, but that's... I beg your pardon, Lady Kamahitsuki, but the Isle of Demons is entirely too far away. Reaching it alone will take me days. And? Did you expect to commute from here? You will establish a foothold on the Isle and see to your orders from there. Until then, you are banished from the capital. You are... Banishing us? Truly? My word is law. That is all. Now be gone. <laughs> Banished. Come, princess. Let us go. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it! I'll die if I leave the capital! <laughs> You are too old to be throwing a tantrum. What is done is done. Let us carry out our mission and return to the capital, post haste. Sakuna? Kogoroa! I refuse to go with those humans! I wish to stay here with you. I too will be lonely without you. Sir, may I? By all means. <laughs> I hope this experience shapes her up. How oh, pathetic. Such ill-fitting behavior for the descendant of the capital's greatest warrior god. However, this might actually be good for her. Raised here in luxury, the princess has wanted for nothing and has grown accustomed to relying on her parents' wealth. I pray that she learns much in the course of the hardships that undoubtedly await her. Please take care of Sakuna for me. I will guard her with my life. <laughs> Goodbye, Sakuna. I'm sad, but a little relieved as well. I wonder why that is. Whenever he talks and then his tongue goes bleh. <laughs> it's actually kind of amusing to see. I like the voice acting. Mm -hmm. Like this has got a nice style to it. Okay, good. The dog is coming with us. Are we mm -hmm. hogtied in the back or are we just being lazy? Oh no, Sakuna is just being lazy in the back. Mm hmm Do you have to steer or press anything or are we gonna coast all the way to the coast? I guess it was just kind of a loading screen. All right. The Dragon's Tunnel Hidden Cove. Ugh, what exertion! My muscles cry out! Listen, you. Me and the samurai here are the ones who rode the whole time. I feel like my arms are gonna fall off. Now, now, it's all right. So, Lady Sakuna, what should we do now? Good question. I'll petition the old man. Old man! Hey, Tama! Are you sleeping? <sighs> so, we've arrived at last. This is undoubtedly the Isle of Demons. You truly are an old fart. You were clearly listening, so hurry and explain our next objective. Hmm. <sighs> I believe this cave continues to the heart of the isle, at which point it unfolds into a mountain pass. At its peak is the house where your mother lived. Let us head there first. Huh. Okay, got it. All right. Mosey along, children of men. Yeah. Uh, not you. You're a bit too young. Kaimaru is with me. What about the rest of you lot? Why is no one moving? Because... The Isle's full of demons, huh? Right, Pinta? Yui's right. Aren't gods supposed to protect us humans? Ugh, you cheeky little twerp. You're called Taoimon, correct? Is that sword at your hip a mere ornament? <laughs> My humblest apologies. 
This blade may be of ancient and noble descent, but I myself have utterly no skill in swordplay. Once, when I drew it in dire circumstances, the handle slipped from my fingers. Princess... All right, fine. I shall go by myself. Then we will follow your lead. So the problem is, we're either going to have to listen to slash noises, or I'm going to have to turn it down. Ooh. Okay, so she's got a sickle and a hoe. And, and some stuff. Oh, so she might actually get different gear throughout yeah. the game then. I think this actually has like a lot of customization. I'm going to turn down the voice volume. Uh, if it's kind of quiet for cutscenes, I'll just turn it up for the cutscenes. Unless the... Because I'm going to go mad if I'm hearing her going, Ha! Yeah! Ha! Oh, ha! Yeah. Oh, constantly. Oh, ooh, there's something in that bush down there. Yep. Because, like, I can deal with a little bit of combat noises. It's still pretty loud, but, like, uh, yeah, that's not not great. These look like little Usagi Yojin bows. Yep. <laughs> huh. Her basic X combo is terrible. Her heavy attacks are pretty great, though. So I'm getting I'm getting some Battle Chef br Brigade vibes from how the like mechanics of fighting and potentially cooking are going to be. Oh, we are going to be cooking. Oh yeah. Ah, huh. large boar with a shield. Oh, so you can swing around. That's cool. Do oh, you got pork from that guy? Oh. Of course it, yeah. It's actually a little loud. Let me turn this down a smidge lot. Yeah, audio, audio balance is really tough, especially when games don't have separate... Uh, sliders. For yeah, separate things. sliders. I absolutely adore when video games have like a... Oh, I see. The charge attack doesn't lead into a combo particularly well. Absolutely adore. Oh, when, you forgot a bush. Yep. Uh, when games have like separate meters for combat, combat dialogue, just combat sound effects, uh, regular sound effects, so on and so forth, because so many games don't have very good balance, or at least by my merit. Another boar and an archer rabbit. There we go. Luckily, you can kind of skunk him with the heavy attacks pretty easily. What's interesting, hmm. I, I wonder what gods they're using. I'm not too familiar with Japanese mythology, but these are all gods that I had never actually heard the names of. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Is there a map? Because, yeah, we've got an upper area and then we've got this one. Or the lower area. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, these guys are pretty good at turning around as I'm just zipping past him, but no biggie. Okay, that looks like an end, maybe. They made up the gods. Got it. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I'm used to... Because if they were going with ones that we were familiar with, oh. the rice god would be Inari, and then you'd have Amaterasu as the chief goddess, but... So that was a... A door that she doesn't recognize that... You'll... Wait, does that mean you can return to this area later? Yeah. I, I think we get, like, a lot of the island to explore and grab resources as we go along. Mm-hmm. And so there's... It's going to be, like, one part farming to expand... Or expand our farm, uh, potentially increase our stats... Let's see. So, you, so what they were saying is that her parents were warrior gods that fought off all the demons on the island and defeated the... Demon lord? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be honest, I'm actually a lot more interested in this now that I know that they just kind of came up with their own pantheon. Identify yourself. Eh, this is fine dialogue volume. You are not a demon. 
Are you a servant of Kamohitsuki? Whoever you are, you will rot here for all eternity. What did you just say? How dare you threaten me, a high-ranking noble? Uh, princess, please. Do not interfere, old man. Keep your distance. Bear witness to the legacy of the Ashikumo. There. You won't get away. He looks like an otter. I see right Doesn't he? You. But Thomas seemed to recognize him. I see right through you. Probably a cousin. Oh wow, he barely does damage. So if I can just get him here and just wail on him, we win. Unless he was an ally to her parents that just remained on the island. Could be. Or a roving warrior. Okay. I will admit this is really awkward. I like the stylization on the otter. The stylization is great, he and I wish we of... were him. <laughs> it just, he reminds me of what I always imagined, say, Redwall otters to look like. Yeah. And of course, all the Redwall games that have ever been made have been Uncanny Valley animal style. I'm serious now. This guy is really awkward to fight. Oh, there we go. I don't think I was supposed to win this fight. What is this, an earthquake? And a ferocious one at that. Where are you skulking off to? We are not done here! Ah, uh, slippery weasel! We may actually be headed to the same place. Ah, it makes sense if he was potentially a weasel, unless she was getting that wrong. But yeah, for how quick that guy was, we did not exactly have the best controls to uh, be able to fight him. So now if you look at this, you can see which ingredients you can pick up in this area. Mm -hmm. Holy! Oh no, it's looping. Okay, I was That's like, how many items, items are there? Uh, let's see. So I'm going to very quickly... We're probably going to have dialogue as soon as we get here, so I'll turn it up by a smidge. I mean, the al alternative is we straight up could actually just turn off the uh, voice acting and just do it ourselves. Which would get past the voice you. entirely how did you get here huh? what do you mean this mountain pass is enchanted with a spell that disorients would be interlopers only those who know about the pass already are able to reach this place and the one armed with that knowledge is none other than me it's been some time ashigumo what a surprise if it isn't Takaribi's blade familiar. We mistakenly crossed blades with you earlier, but we have no quarrel with you. Stay your hand. This is my master, Lord Takaribi's daughter, Princess Sakuna. Owing to unfortunate circumstances, we are impelled to take up residence on this isle. Is the house still here? Yes, I'm still taking care of it. So you're acquainted? You should have said! I seem to recall you rushing ahead without heeding me once again. We can talk at length later. Right. If we don't go fetch the others, they'll never find this place. I'm delighted that you figured that out. You know, sometimes I wonder if you're mocking me. Is slightly damaged but in surprisingly good condition. This is strong wood. The house is still habitable. You are called Ashigumo, correct? Why would you protect my mother's house with all these demons swarming around? I owe your father a great debt. The evil god Omizuchi, who your parents battled here, also threatened the Ashigumo tribe. Holy shit, his tail is long. And it might have a hook on it? What's, it might, yeah. What is that over there? Yeah, it's got like a barb. Your father, Lord Takaribi, gave them strength and wisdom, and they triumphed over Omizuchi together. Huh. So that's why. Quite the honor, I dare say. And oh, oh, you're here? Yeah, it's okay. Hey, where 
dare you get off gambling through my house before I so much as set foot in it? You've toiled long and hard, that I can see. Would you allow us to use this house? You have none other than Takaribi's daughter at your side. I cannot refuse. This must be fate. Let us aid one another. Now that we have a house, we are settled. You all can do whatever you want from now on. I shall convalesce until such a time that I am prepared to carry out the solemn duty bequeathed unto me by Lady Kamehitsuki. Whatever we want? Like what? Princess, this is no time for a royal nap. There may be a storehouse here, but its reserves are drained. If you sleep your days away as you did in the capital, you will starve ere summer comes. And as long as the demons rule this island, foraging is too great a burden for the humans alone. Your divinity dictates that you must be the one to act, my princess. You're telling me to go out and hunt? Fulfilling your duty means strengthening your foothold here, day by day. Moreover, you and this land share a deep connection. There is no better place for you to begin your journey. If not a royal nap, couldn't I at least royally procrastinate until tomorrow? Goddess, should we plant something in this field? That is a splendid idea. <laughs> but first we must find some seeds. I have some rice husks right here. My word! How terribly convenient! Why would you walk around with such a thing? Are you not a samurai? I was born into a family of warriors, but my focus is on field work, not the sword. I have kept these husks with me ever since I left home, and stooped to becoming a bandit. Wouldn't millet be easier to start off with? No, rice might prove to be just the ticket. My princess has inherited abilities from both Takaribi, the warrior god, and Toyohana, the harvest goddess. <laughs> oh, so warrior god and harvest goddess. Interesting. As such, her powers are greatly affected by the five grains, and particularly by rice. We plant rice. Sakuna grows strong. Yes? Now, I noticed that Mirth doesn't have a Japanese name. I find that interesting, don't you? Yeah. She, they gave her an accent as well. She might be like a Dutch. Oh, I see. Yeah, Someone she looks. Had... Her outfit looks vaguely Dutch. She also has I blue eyes. I think she's a missionary. Ah. Hmm. Indeed. It will become easier to drive the demons back. By growing rice, we can fill our bellies and reduce the demon population in one stroke. Two birds with one stone, as it were. Then it shall be so. Lady Sakuna will go hunt. We'll stay here and plant the rice. Uh, we've got to help, too. No work, no food, I guess. I will help, too. Taoemon, I expect great things from you. Give it your all out there in the fields. Your trust will not go misplaced. <sighs> this might not be voice acted. Really? Guess not. Oh. But how am I to proceed without exploring an island I know nothing about? Well, with exploring an island. Sorry. Uh Ah, perfect. I shall ask him. Ashigumo, is there any place to hunt around here? Hey. There's, there's a small cave nearby. The demons there are weak. You may have some luck finding food. Hmm. Hmm. A long trip rat sounds rather laborious, so I shall heed your suggestion. I'll tend the rice until it begins to sprout. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Luckily for us, I found some tools in the storehouse. We must express our gratitude to Lady Sakuna's mother. Alright. Oh, interesting. Not a side-scroller over here. 
No, th this, I mean, I think you can actually plant things in the garden. You can release water into the garden, if you notice there. Mm -hmm. Snail. Snails. Snail. All right. Well, this is a pretty good stopping point. I realize that we're still very much kind of at the end of Tutorial Land, but we haven't really gone on to the main game yet. But I like this game. It's super charming, and I like the leveling system. We're going to play a little bit more, and then I'll kind of decide if I can fit it in around everything else and how much I like this game. Because I love the RPG mechanics, and I love the go out, grab resources, bring them back, upgrade your stuff game loop. It really does kind of have that Battle Chef Brigade vibe, but instead of, you know, a match three mini game for the gameplay, you just, you know, get, you get stats, you keep going out, you keep bringing them back. I don't know. It's fun. And honestly, we are going to turn off the voice acting after this point. Well, it's actually rather well done, I just do not want to have to raise the meters and lower the meters every single time we leave a combat area, because I just I don't want to hear fat, yeah, hot, all the time, because that's just madness. Uh, but apart from that, everything is pretty solid, and I'm just kind of loving the characters. So... I guess with that, uh, Sakuna of Rice and Rune will be out on the uh, the 9th or the 10th. It's coming out in a couple of days, and uh, so you won't have to wait too long for it to come out. No idea what the price is. And I think it's going to be out on... I know it's out on PC, and I'm pretty sure it'll be out on... Yeah, PS4 and PC. Okay. Uh, so that's that. So, I guess with that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Uh, but I guess with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.